All right, finally got some new newts. Right, so here we are in the office section and the tank we're going to today is this one over here. This one's been sitting back here for well over a year and it had my one male newt in it. I had a female and they were denude nudes, but she died before I got them in here and got the tank done. But he used to get up on the hill here all the time. And uh, I think they were just really old when I got them because they are definitely full size when I got them after seeing all these nudes that I saw this weekend at Aquashella, which is where I got them. But before we get to the nudes, I figure we're gonna clean this up. But as you can see, it's not in the best condition right now. But all we really need to do is a few things to clean it up. And I figure I might as well take you guys along with me as I do that. And the first thing first, Let's go ahead and get the top off and clean it, which was easy. I already wiped it down. And I was like, oh, maybe I should share the cleanup with you guys as well. And not just the newts, because I know some of you guys be interested in the tank and their setup. And what I've got in here, man, that is bright, is some hydrocodyl, tripartia, however you say that. And then there's also pilo moss. But you can see where some has been dying off really sure why probably lacking nutrients I don't really fur or do much in here it just has been doing its thing for the longest time and uh, it's got some Ozark mountain rock it's actually what this ledge is and it's got some really neat substrate which was a bioactive blend that I got from Serpa design with coconut fibers um, wood bark chips sand i think and some rock and i've also got a nice piece of malaysian driftwood here pilo moss and hydrocarbon stringing over it but first things first let's get this glass cleaned up let's get a paper towel see what i can do with that seems to be working pretty nicely so just a regular old paper towel didn't even need a scraper I don't have to worry about scraping up my glass. Seems really well. Alright, I work my way down. Alright, so that's a bit better. Now I do have some like hazy film here. I don't know. You guys know what that is in the comments below or how to get rid of that? I don't know if that's from Ghost of My Ironfurts in there or what that's from. And it's kind of really hard to get off not sure why that happened but i do like to keep this uh it's or well good idea to keep this moist wet you don't want to put your newts on dry land or salamanders so now the next step will be to remove all this hair algae here obviously we don't want them getting tangled up in that which is usually pretty easy to do. Just peel away. Look at that. Nice rock right there. Looks like we need to scrape the bottom glass too. So we'll do that and we're pretty much set. Oh, cherry shrimp still in there. I haven't thrown food in here forever. Since there was a newt in there. Get that hydrocodyl to spread out a little bit with what's left. See, pretty, pretty easy, simple cleanup. Tiny bit over here. Wow, you see all that hydrocodyl where it's just ready to grow all around that. Uh, I'm not too worried about pulling that out because uh, more will grow. Better get the algae out right now. Ah, look much, much, much better. I think they'll like that. This way they got a little rock that goes up there, kind of like a stairs up and out. See the substrate more. Still kind of settling. I 
Uh, next, you see where I've got a lot of dying kind of moss. I did check for funguses, like fuzzy funguses. I wanted to make sure there was none of that going on in, in here or any mold. And uh, luckily there wasn't any of that. But I will go ahead and remove this, which I should just be able to pick right out. And just like that, pretty easy removal. Then that'll allow new stuff to grow in. Heck, I could probably spread it out enough with this to patch it to make it look like, yeah, make it look like I didn't even touch it. So, that's kind of nice. Can't be afraid to take that kind of stuff out. Because it's just growing on a rock. There's no dirt there. That's just rock. So, it was probably lacking nutrients. I'm not really that worried about it covering. Because it looks cool either way. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Look at that. Just the moss hanging on the edge there. And then, like, the open space. Actually, I kind of like the open space better. At least for that part. I think that looks pretty natural. I'm loving it. Then they got a bank on this side to go up. Now, on to the newts, now that their new home is ready. But, first, huge shout out to Houston Frogs. Now, they don't have a whole lot of subscribers. I met them at Aquashella in Dallas. And if we could show them some love, get them up, maybe that would motivate them to do some more stuff on YouTube. It looks like they did something a month ago. They they throw some things out every once in a while, but let's try to get them up to a thousand or even over. Show them some love. Say tell them I sent you. But they had one of the coolest tables that I have ever seen in Alcachella. Now they didn't really have fish or anything, but they had like glow under dark fungus. They had praying mantis. They had uh, newts. Tadpoles, all kinds of stuff, special substrate. But these are the Lake Ermia. I think that's how you say it. Here they are, Lake Ermia newts. As you can see here, they come from the mountains west of Lake Ermia, northwestern Iran, northeastern Iraq, and southeastern Turkey. And they can be kept aquatic all through their entire life, but love to climb and explore. They do like floating plants and land area. As you can see from this lid, as it said on that label, they are definitely climbers. They're all over the place, but these guys are really, really cool. And thank you guys all for the support the other night and uh, helping me out with the new fun. Now I did make a trade on these with some guppies, which was perfect because he actually bought some stuff from me and I didn't even realize he did so we made a nice trade and um, I'm super excited about these I know you guys were excited when you saw me light up when I seen them you guys could tell and I much appreciated all the love you guys shared and showed so how could I not come home with some but here will be their new home and I had to share the video with you guys because how could I not too with all the love and support you guys have shown but I'm probably gonna have to put the camera down to get these guys in there because I don't want them running away on me you uh, know yeah let's just get these in there I don't have a cameraman I wish I did which maybe one day Wesley will be but well actually we need to update his tank as well maybe I'll bring back the uh, this old tank and I'll probably make this old this old tank as well since I mean it's this old tank but we'll do Wesley's as well here sometime sooner and later too. So that wasn't too bad. I just ripped the lid off and kind of put the water gently to the side to get the ones on the wall into the water. Now I think I'm just going to leave them in there and let them explore the tank by themselves. Instead of like trying to dump them in or whatever. Then I can just remove that later on. Make sure the label's not in the water though. Want blues or anything getting in there? All right, get the lid on. And as far as the lid, I've got a twin wall polycarbonate top. 
custom cut. So, I mean, there's no way for these guys to get in. This is super, or get out. This is super, super tight. Made it to kind of be airtight. Just enough to give it a slight flow between like this hole and just a slight crack. Then I got like one of those, uh, ones you would use for the glass. I had an extra and plopped it on there. There we go. Lake Ermia Nuke setup. Now as far as food, maybe I'll eat up on some shrimp here. You get some springtails and I don't know if they eat isopods or not. I need to do some more research on these guys. Oh look, he's coming up and out. Plop. Oh man, check it out. How cool is that? You get to see one find his new home. What is this space? He's making his way. So he's the bravest one of them all. I think the other ones are getting curious because that other one is not in there. He's making his climb. You can do it, little buddy. I'm super slow. Because they are unfamiliar with the territory. I can imagine it's in their nature to go slow in new territory. Absolutely beautiful. I just gotta figure out how to get that haze off that glass now. And they're all bunched up. Yeah, let them take their time. Oh, that was so cool. Come on, fellas. It's all right. You can do it. Oh, he's about to. He's about to do it. Come on out, buddy. Oh, one just took the point off the deepest edge. I didn't even care. He's like, let me out. Probably hungry. And here we have the Ermia Lake Nudes. They are black with yellow polka dots. Quite a beautiful specimen of newt coming from the Middle East of the world. From Iran and Iraq all the way to Turkey. Uh oh. I've always gone to the highest end here to get out. What do you think of them, Wesley? You like them? Yeah. Oh, I think they're about to come out now. Oh, well, that's how the other one came out too. Oh boy. He's thinking about it. Is he gonna make the jump? Oh. Is he gonna make the jump, see him? He was thinking about it. Oh, he got scared when I pointed at him. Oh, he's going. He's going for it. No, let him take their time. Don't want to agitate or scare him. Oh, there he went. He made it. We got two in. What up, dude? Cool. Two more still left. The big reason why I picked these guys over the other ones too is I wanted the alpine ones, but they didn't have any more of those. And then I saw these guys were climbing all over, and I figured 
going to be like the others where I'd stick them in here and want to be able to see them. But with the yellow polka dots and the climbing abilities, I think these will be much more active in this tank to be able to see. Oh no, he fell the wrong way. No one's already climbing the mountain back there though. Oh, he's hidden now. <laughs> Ooh, third one's out. Third one made it out. One more left. Fourth one coming out, pretty much the same way. This guy's made it all the way about around the corner. Oh, there he went. Now it says they can be fully aquatic, but they really do like to be out of the water. You see the other one back over there, climbing on the wall. When they get into the water, they kind of seem scared, probably because they don't know if there's any fish in there. I can imagine in the wild, if they fall into the water like that, they usually become snakes. But I wonder if they have like a scent gland, because they all went the same route so far. Besides that guy kind of ended up there. This guy went straight for that one corner, so you definitely, definitely need a tight lid. So, so cool, they can climb on the walls. Can you see him? They really do blend in well, though. Yeah, definitely happy about this, this choice. These guys are definitely active and about. Don't seem to be all Heidi so far, which is cool. Cool, and you can see him in the water too. A reflection of that. How neat is that? It's pretty cool, dude. And all the shrimp came out too. Tons of shrimp came out. So maybe they'll get some shrimp snacks. This is cool. Now, since I didn't have any springtails for them, I do have some Daphnia, which I think will be good for them. But I see them in the water. I also have some black worms in here, which I'll go ahead and try to get some of those too. That foam and that food on there, they should travel up there. No, no, as long as this guy doesn't eat that food first. Or a girl. It's a girl. And these guys will actually shed their skin too and actually molt like a snake. Kinda. It's really interesting. I might as well add some green water to get that Daphnia going in real good too. That way there'll be a plethora of foods. Springtail's coming soon. Alright, so there you have it, the Lake Ermia Newts. If you guys like this, please hit that like button. That would be awesome. Show the algorithm some love. And yeah, hit that subscribe if you have it. We'll be coming up with updates on all kinds of things here going on. And until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one. And thank you all for the support. You guys are awesome.